As students return from winter break to a new calendar year, a grade 5-6 class at Brentwood Park Elementary was among several who used the occasion as an impetus to set new goals. A grade 6-7 class at Buckingham Elementary focused on a single word to represent their resolutions for 2023. Still, at Buckingham, grade 2-3 students considered, amongst their goals, three acts of kindness to do for people. A grade two class at Gilmore Community School included new foods to try as part of their resolutions. Primary students at Second Street Community School made these adorable penguins to waddle into the new year. Meanwhile, French immersion students at Marlborough Elementary gave props to the new year in their handmade glasses as they wished everyone a bon année. Lunar New Year activities are also well underway across the district. Students at Burnaby North Secondary have been celebrating the Year of the Rabbit in a variety of ways. This included an event complete with performances for all to enjoy that was led by students taking Mandarin classes as well as North's Mandarin Club. Festivities at Forest Grove Elementary, where the district's Mandarin language arts program is held, are in full swing throughout the school, including these student creations from multiple classes. Over at Brentwood Elementary, intermediate youth painted rabbit pictures, all while learning about the continuous cycle of Chinese zodiac signs and how each is represented by an animal. A grade five, six French immersion class at Cascade Heights Elementary created rabbit art that held extra meaning for the 12 year olds. They were born in the year of the rabbit 12 years ago. Students at Aubrey Elementary learned that this year's animal symbolizes longevity, peace, and prosperity. Early learners at Kitchener Elementary made paper lanterns to celebrate and enjoyed fresh, fresh dumplings. Grade one and two students at Capitol Hill Elementary moved through the halls collectively and joyfully as a dragon. Students support the environment. A Burnaby Mountain secondary student has been named a top 25 environmentalist under 25 in Canada. Chow Kraus Conrad received the honor from a nonprofit organization called the Starfish Canada, which works to amplify the voices of young environmental leaders. Chow is president of his school's Earthwise Club. He also facilitates cooking classes and garden clubs for elementary students, opportunities that are part of the district's partnership with Sprouting Chefs. Chow is the youth committee head. Over at Burn Creek Community School, students held a clothing drive to keep textiles out of the landfill. The initiative is among ongoing efforts to promote and contribute to sustainability. Schools continue to support environmental awareness through building connection to the outdoors. For example, at Stony Creek Community School, place-based learning took a group of young students and their teacher to a nearby forest. Students at Brentwood Park set out on a tree inquiry. They were delighted to explore an alternate set of questions when they discovered an abandoned bird's nest on the ground. Planning for next year. Students are in the early stages of planning for the 2023-24 school year. As they consider their options, there is much choice in both high school electives and district-wide programs for children and youth of all ages. Several information sessions were organized to help students and families make informed decisions, including all at all eight high schools, such as this open house at Burnaby South Secondary. Approximately 450 people attended an evening about the district's career education programs, which range from game development and cybersecurity to carpentry and plumbing. The high quality of the district's program of choice, programs of choice has been in the spotlight recently. The teacher of the Microsoft Office Specialist Program at Caribou Hill Secondary was named Educator of the Year. The honor was awarded to Jerry Chen by CCI Learning, an education technology company. And in a recent Burnaby Now story, a musician and former Burnaby North student talked about the pending release of her album. April Yang credited taking the music production and technology program in grade 11 with igniting her ability to produce music. Literacy Week. 
While Literacy is a focus all year, many schools chose a week for joyful activities as a community, such as this book tasting by candlelight at Stony Creek. The experience was complete with tablecloths, soft music, and books to bite into, figuratively, of course. West Ridge Elementary students and school staff dressed up as their favorite book characters, decorated do doors, and also enjoyed a book tasting. Students at Chaffee Burke Elementary considered the question, what makes a fairy tale? While some schools bring in guest readers, at Chaffee Burke, they had some fun with chair swapping as teachers switch classrooms to read for one another's students. Oh. Partnerships enhance student experiences. There are many examples throughout the district of how community community connection and partnership strengthen all we do. Parent advisory councils work in partnership towards the best interest of students. At Burn Creek Community School, students are getting ready for the upcoming Comic Con event with special guests, all thanks to the generosity of the school park and Burnby Public Library. Recently at Gilmore Community School, the park provided a new gym balls for several sports. Over at Parkcrest Elementary, students had a sea dome experience while learning about oceans and conservation actions. The magic of the sea came from with a visit from a nonprofit uh, OceanWise. Working with Ad Starts, the district's Young People's Concert Series was back on and in person for the first time since the pandemic began. Elementary students enjoyed a performance arts experiences including Black Canadian 365, which was held last week. The show is by D.O. Gibson, a Guinness World Record setting rapper who works to inspire youth. Beyond Black History Month, several schools such as Second Street Community School use the occasion of Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday to explore his life and legacy. The class looked to honor him by serving the community after reflecting on the question once asked by the civil rights leader himself, quote, what are you doing for others, unquote. Also at Second Street, students from two classes headed to the school library to research inspirational people for their black excellence projects. Brentwood Park Elementary students considered what is perhaps the most iconic quote from Martin Luther King Jr. about judging people by the content of their character. With words and designs incorporated into a cutout of their hands, the students shared their own expressions of solidarity. And that is Inside Burnaby Schools for January 24th to 2023. Thank you, trustees.